Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis. Photo, Abhijit Batlakar, Mint Mumbai, the 28th of May by-election for the Pandawar Lok Sabha constituency in Maharashtra is significant for the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP, both nationally and across the state. BJP, which stormed to power with 282 Lok Sabha seats in 2014 has since lost several by-elections, resulting in its strength falling to 275. The Palgar by-election offers it a chance to improve its tally, especially after embarrassing losses in Uttar Pradesh's Gorakhpur and Fulpur by-elections in March. On the same day, bi-polls will also be held to the Bandar Gandhi Lok Sabha seat in Maharashtra. In Maharashtra, the Palgar bi-poll could also turn out to be a precursor to the bigger BJP Shiv Sena face-off in the 2019 elections if Shiv Sena sticks to its position of going solo. The Shiv Sena has fielded Shreni was Wanga, son of late BJP MP Chintaman Wanga whose death in January necessitated the bi-poll. A stung BJP has fielded former Congress legislator Rajendra Gavit. But the BJP and Shiv Sena are not the only important actors here. Reserved for the scheduled tribe street candidates, the Palgar constituency was formed after the 2008 delimitation. It has a diverse social composition, including tribals, North Indians, Marathi speakers, Gujarati and Marwari trade communities, and Christians in its 1.5 million plus electorate. The political geography is as diverse. Of its six assembly constituencies, four are reserved for STs, Dahanu, Vikramgar, Palgar, and Boizar. Tribals, who account for 37% of Palgar's population, are concentrated in these four seats. Two of these four Saint reserved seats are held by the BJP and one each by the Shiv Sena and Bahujan Vikas Aghadi, BVA, a regional party that also holds the remaining two assembly constituencies of Visayana and Sapara. The Communist Party of India, Marxist, has had a significant presence in Dahanu and Vikramgar segments, and in the 2014 Lok Sabha election, the CPM candidate polled 7.74% of the total votes. In 2014, BJP's Chintaman Wanga got 533,201 votes or 53.71% of the vote share, defeating Baliram Jadav of the BVA who got 293,681 votes or 29.58%. Jadav is contesting this time also on the BVA ticket, and with the addition of the Congress nominee Damodar Shingda, it has become a quadrangular fight among BJP, Shiv Sena, BVA, and Congress. Development and Shiv Sena's backstabbing are the two themes driving the BJP campaign, according to veteran BJP worker Ashok Kolch. Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis is himself leading the charge here. We are committed to make Palgar the first tribal district in India where each tribal native would have his own home by 2019. Kulj told Mint on the sidelines of an interaction between Fadnavis and Palgar citizens on the 23rd of May. Fadnavis, who has said that, come what may the BJP would win the Palgar seat, has addressed six public meetings during the campaign, focusing on development works and shifts and his betrayal, leaving nothing to chance, Fadnavis. Also got his Uttar Pradesh counterpart Yogi Adityanath to address a public meeting where the new Hindutva poster boy delivered his development and prosperity under Modi message with a generous dose of Hindutva. The bipole is also a litmus test for Shiv Sena Chief Yudha Thakri, who took the gamble of fielding Chittaman Wanga's son against the BJP. Leading a hectic campaign since then, Thackeray has sought to make the bipole an emotional contest between Wanga's legacy and BJP's arrogance. This is a calculated risk Yudav Sahib has taken with an eye on the 2019 polls when we are unlikely to have an alliance with BJP.
This bifold is a kind of a dress rehearsal for us, said a local shifts and a worker who did not wish to be named. A BJP strategist and Fad Navis's confidant, who requested anonymity, said the by-election outcome would be determined by three factors, polling percentage, 62.90% in 2014, division of votes among BVA and Shiv Sena, and aspiration for development.